In this video, I'm going to talk about four reasons why I think a USB-C dock is the ultimate accessory for your Mac Mini, and why you need one if you haven't got one already. A company called Mini Sapuru were kind enough to send over this dock for me to test out with my Mac Mini. So while I'm going to be talking about docks in general, I'm going to be using this dock to explain my thoughts. And while Mini Sapuru did send me this dock free of charge, no money changed hands and they don't get to see this video before it's released. So I'm going to give my honest opinions on what I think of this dock later in the video. So without further ado, let's crack on. So reason number one, and one of the biggest benefits of using a dock is the fact that you have ports that are far easier to access than the ones that are on the back of your Mac Mini. This can make it far easier and faster to connect various peripherals like external hard drives and SD cards. Honestly, since getting this dock, it's taken away one slightly annoying barrier to content creation, which is having to use a dongle that is plugged into the back of my Mac Mini, meaning I always have to reach over the back of the Mac Mini, turn it around, actually plug stuff in, which gets really annoying, especially when you can't find the dongle in the first place. Reason number two is that with a dock, you get access to additional ports that your Mac Mini didn't already have. This particular dock gives me access to two 10 gigabit per second USB-C ports, plus a UHS-1 SD card reader and a micro SD card reader. As someone who creates YouTube videos and edits photos frequently, having an easily accessible SD card reader has improved my workflow immeasurably. I can quickly check B-roll footage as soon as I've shot it to make sure that I'm happy with it, which is something I just wouldn't do before because it was just too much hassle. This basically avoids me having to set up my lights and everything again to reshoot B-roll shots that I'm not happy with because I can more easily check them on the fly and then reshoot them during that same filming session. Reason number three is that a dock can allow you to declutter your setup, especially if it mounts the Mac Mini vertically or on its side like this Mini Sapuru one does. This reduces the physical footprint of your Mac Mini and gives you more space to play with, and also just makes your desk setup look a bit cleaner. I also found that before I had a dock, when I plugged in an SSD to the back of my Mac Mini, I would rest the SSD on top of the Mac Mini, which could eventually scratch it. From a personal point of view, I like to try and keep all my gear in as good a condition as possible partly for the satisfaction of having nice looking things, but also because it can really affect the resale value if you have scratches on your Mac Mini. Finally, reason four is really important. The base model M1 and M2 Mac Minis come with a tiny 256 gigabytes of inbuilt storage, and this is probably the option that most people will go for because of the low price. But some docks, such as this Mini Sapuru one, have an SSD enclosure built in. This means that you can upgrade your storage with a 1TB SSD for about £130 all in, rather than the £400 that Apple charges for the same upgrade. And that £130 includes the price of the dock as well as the 1TB SSD, which means you also get all of the previously mentioned benefits of the dock as well. Admittedly, your SSD speeds will be slower, which we'll get onto a little bit more slightly later, but you are saving yourself £270, so I'll bet most of you won't care. I have linked the SSD that I've used with this dock down below if you do want to pick that up. So now I'm going to do a speed run, under 90 second review of this dock, covering everything I haven't covered already, in case you like the look of it. So let's go. I give the build quality 9 out of 10. It feels really sturdy and well built with an all metal construction. I give the port selection 7 out of 10. The main reason I'm not giving this a higher score is because it doesn't have any USB-A ports, which I know some people might need. Also, bear in mind you can't charge anything through the USB-C ports as they don't provide enough power pass-through. The SSD enclosure gets an 8 out of 10. It's super easy to install an SSD without the need for any tools, and there's a really sleek magnetic cover that clips into place really easily. Once installed, the SSD appears on your desktop like any other external SSD would. One thing to note is that from my testing, you're leaving about 17% write speed and about 27% read speed on the table when you're using this dock over something like this external SSD enclosure from Ugreen. I imagine this is probably down to bottlenecking from the USB-C port, but the SSD speeds are still fairly fast and more than good enough for 4K video editing workflows. Finally, the design gets a 7 out of 10. I like the overall look of the design, but if you have a lot of things plugged into the back of your Mac Mini, it can look a little bit messy. I like the rubber pads on the inside of the dock as these protect the Mac Mini from scuffs and scratches when you put it into the dock. However, only time will tell if these mark the Mac Mini permanently. Finally, I wish they put some basic rubber feet on the bottom of the dock because it slides around your desk really easily, which means you really can't put things into the ports one-handed without potentially flinging your Mac Mini off the desk. My overall score is 8 out of 10. This dock gets a big thumbs up from me. If you do want to pick up this dock, then I put a link down in the description for you, along with a link to the specific SSD that I'm using with it. If you're thinking about getting a dock for your Mac Mini or you already own one, then let me know down in the comments what your favourite feature of it is. But apart from docks, another couple of essential accessories for your Mac Mini are are a mouse and keyboard. I've done a review on a mouse and keyboard that could pair really nicely with your Mac Mini, so I'd recommend that you click on that video on screen here next. Otherwise, as always, it's been an absolute pleasure, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers!